be with you this morning. It's my first time in Sabah. Uh, I still have a base with a Butterworth Pinang, Pulau Pinang. So I have a place for the Pinang. But I must say I enjoy your Sabah state. <laughs> I can feel that there are many more Christians here than over there. Saya rasa lebih ramai orang Kristen di sini daripada di sana. And the spiritual atmosphere here is much clearer. Dan uh, keadaan kerohaniannya di sini lebih rasa senang. Yeah, my to my person, yeah, I guess Pastor say that my name is Roland Bartel. Nama saya Roland Bartel. I'm yeah, I'm German actually. Saya seorang Jerman. And the brother from Rainer Bonke. And I'm, I'm serving the Lord since uh, for 22 years. But a full time only six years. Because uh, yeah, I mean we're all going through a stage of growing in Christ, getting mature more and more and when you are called for full time ministry and at the right time you will enter it. Yeah. And my ministry is called Love of God Ministries. I'm also ordained from an American ministry from the United States. And why I call Ministry Love of God Ministries is because I see the need of love in this world. Because the Bible says God does not only love us, but God is love. And uh, the people who are not safe yet, they're always running around, still looking in whatever way for love. There are many ways to compensate this vacuum in our hearts and we are not Christians yet. Because we are created by God, so we are also created to receive love and give love. The people who have not God in their heart, some of them compensated with making a lot of money. Ada yang mengisi kekosongan itu dengan mempunyai banyak keuangan. Some people they always go party every night and they ada, try to get happiness. Ada yang pergi berpoya-poya, berpesta malam-malam untuk mencari kegembiraan. Or some people they look at the relationships and boy girlfriend things. Ada yang pergi mencari perhubungan lelaki dan perempuan. And if it comes to worst cases. People go into alcohol and get drunk all the time. Or people also they go into drugs. But the main reason they're doing this because they want to fill this hole in the heart where they should be the love of God. So you can be really happy when you're saved because this hole in your heart is filled up with the love of God, with the Spirit of God. Hallelujah! Amen! Hallelujah! Amen! About this, the people of God should be very joyful because the hole, the vacuum in the heart is filled up. Karena ini umat Tuhan sepatutnya berbahagia karena kekosongan di dalam diri mereka telah diisi. Just to remind you a little bit, ministry support. I, I wrote a book which is over there. It's called Faith Walk. Ada setulis satu buku bernama Perjalanan Iman. Di situ ada meja. It's an interesting testimony when I was walking by faith in Israel, Egypt, and Jordan. Bila saya satu kesaksian bila saya berjalan dalam iman waktu saya berada di Mesir dan Yordan. 
where God encouraged me just for this time, leave all your security behind and now you really trust me and walk with me. So because I did it, and I was starting to trust only the word of Jesus, we were doing one word after the other. So this, uh, this book is uh, 15 ringgits. And some other things, uh, I don't know the name of the, the sister, she can help us. Uh, support because also we missionaries we also need money. Yeah, ini bila kita beli barang-barang di situ kita menyokong pelayanan saudara kita ini. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's open the Bible, Matthew chapter six. Kita buka buku Matius bab enam. I read uh, first ten and first thirteen. Saya baca Matthew chapter six, verse ten and also first thirteen. Matius ayat 10 hingga 13. Jesus said, Jesus gives here the example how we should pray. Dari ayat 9 di mana contoh Yesus berikan kepada kita bagaimana harus kita berdoa. Matius 6 9. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Ayat 10. Datanglah kerajaanmu, jadilah kehendakmu di bumi seperti di syurga. And first 13 he says, and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Ayat 13 kita lihat. Dan janganlah membawa kita ke dalam pencobaan, tetapi lepaskanlah kami daripada yang jahat, kerana Engkau yang mempunyai kerajaan dan kuasa dan kemuliaan sampai selama lamanya. Amin. So in this uh, master prayer, two times Jesus mentioned the kingdom of God. Dalam doa Bapa kami ini, Yesus menyebut dua kali tentang kerajaan Allah. First then he say, Your kingdom come. You will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yaitu ayat 10, Yesus mengatakan, Datanglah kerajaanmu, jadilah kehendakmu di bumi seperti di syurga. You know, with Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ did not only come to bring us into heaven, He came to bring kingdom of God on earth. Yesus mengatakan ke dunia bukan membawa kita masuk ke syurga sahaja, tetapi membawa kerajaan syurga itu turun di bumi. With Jesus Christ, kingdom of God came here. Dan di mana kak kerajaan Tuhan ini, kerajaan Tuhan Yesus ini turun? And he says that his wish is that his will of his kingdom should be done on earth. Dan dikatakan di ayat 10 itu bahawa kehendak Tuhan adalah supaya kerajaan yang terjadi datang di muka bumi ini. Haleluya. 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 Amen. Amen. John, uh, let's go to John chapter 3. Kita lihat Yohanes bab 3. Verse 6, verse 5 and 6. Ayat 5 dan 6. John chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Yohanes bab 3, ayat 5 dan 6. He says here, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born of God and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Aku berkata kepada Mu, sesungguhnya jika seorang tidak dilahirkan dari air dan roh, ia tidak dapat masuk ke dalam kerajaan Allah. Apa yang dilahirkan dari daging adalah daging, dan apa yang dilahirkan dari roh adalah roh. Jesus is mentioning also here as explaining to one of the Pharisees actually in this story how we can enter the kingdom of God. And I must say, sometimes when I talk with my brother, Christian brothers and sisters and we talk about the kingdom of God and I ask them, actually, do you know what the kingdom of God is like? Kadang-kadang saya bercakap dengan rakan so, uh, seiman, saya akan tanya mereka, bagaimanakah kerajaan Tuhan ini? 
some of them they cannot answer me.